Came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then.
quieting yourself, friend. This won't take long. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Danbury. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here! Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you.
Who the hell's this fella? Shit. Get that son of a bitch! Keeper, mister, in a prison of your own making. Up, you get. Take me to damn cork, then. that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up. Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly, is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his worth. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this. New electricity chair on you, to kill you, humanely. <clears throat> no! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> but as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like... Well, like switching off a light. They wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, the smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars Shit. across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, half like the skin was ripped off. No. Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No. If I hadn't seen the storm, <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But no, sir. It was lightning. The electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, oh, that must be of an entirely different kind. That's the fellow that took our moonshine.
Hi, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. Professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Ha, bring here. him over here. I got him. You're wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well. Once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Chatonnet, the painter! <laughs> okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art! As bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave, go far away! We will never understand you here! I say, I go to Saint Denis! They say that is not far enough! <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization! So repressive! So stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah, I kinda know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. I know those men! I shot on a bar! Quick, behind here! We stay behind. 
sentir. Allez, allez, vite <rire> We are away Come now Follow me But of course, I needed to shit! Hey, come on! My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there! Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. A man smart. Hey. We go through here. Oh, it's nothing. Uh, I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Now get moving, come on. Mister? So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but no kinds of brilliance. Not so much. The new kinds of David? The holy nefens. We go from there. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <clears throat> I was going to buy the red ones to bring out the colors in your cheeks, but then I thought the blue. Hush! Was all hey, I may know these people. But maybe something gayer. A purple, perhaps? We are in Saint Denis, after all. What are you looking at? Bar shipping, money borrowing, wife stealing. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life, filled with art and truth, dirty truth, that is something that matters! Oh, well, it's good to know you got a fail-safe philosophy, at least. Look at you, pretty little thing! Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Hello, boys. Come on. Come on back now, baby! <laughs> I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there the light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. What the? Oh. Oh. I gotta ask you to head on 
Damn way. Excuse you. Happy to assist you in a moment. Nothing like a fresh start. Can I be of service? Thanks. Place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. You gotta do something. All right. Where is she? She's a sack yeah. up in the swamp by the water. <laughs> uh, You quit that now, you hear? <laughs> do, you, do you mind, please? I can't rest if I'm looking at him. <laughs> There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Again, you my garden angel. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Aren't you hiding all that? You okay? Hey. Hello, Mr. Morgan. See that? That is how you Hi, get Arthur. a good point. Come on, my turn now, please. Oh, no. We don't need you getting in no more trouble. <laughs> you all right, Jack? Hey. Hello, I'm just Arthur. fine. Why? No reason. Got some guts, that boy. Always said he took after his mother. <laughs> Mr. Pearson? Well, I suppose I should move a bit. How are you? Well, good day so far. Good for you. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Good morning. Good morning, Arthur. Come on now, Pearson. Marston. Arthur. Now, one that sounds sincere. I'm not playing this game. Don't get your back up. I'm on a kid. Yeah, a regular comedian. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. Don't smile. Your face might crack. Get up! I'm sleeping, Arthur. I've forgotten what it was now. You're interrupting my beauty rest. Looking out for him, same as we all are. He even looks like you, John. John? Arthur? Morning. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys cared for me before no one cared for me. Well... Life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? 
She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Yeah. All right, head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. Do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Thank you. I swear half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappeared. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Yeah. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Well, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that, but you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said... You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our gun. <laughs> What the hell? What the hell you think you're doing? Hey, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them! Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard! Uh, the one in front of the boat, bring him back alive. I ain't got one to be All right, get after them! Hey, there, straight ahead. I saw him go through those bushes. We're coming for you, you bastards! That's it, stay on! They're heading you down the hill, to the water! You got it. Oh, there they are, by the shoreline! Yep. You got a couple more seconds to regret what you did! All right, I think that last one's the boss. Last of women, we'll take him back to Tilly. Get him, Arthur! Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Yeah, stay the hell out of this. Don't let him get away! Yeah, yeah. Go on! Rope that bastard! Come here. That's it. Now 
Now make sure you tie him up real good. Quick, before he gives you the slip. Into a bad day for you, Mister. Gonna make these nice and tight. All right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly, so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over. Oh! For Christ's sake. Step! the first idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny damn coward. Get off me, funny bastard. Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. So shut the hell up. Bastard! Son of a bitch. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah, I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. <laughs> me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. 
If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm a goner. Please. There you go. Oh. oh, thank God. Oh, well, I waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I, I wish I could give you some money or... Well, you know, I might have something of interest. You know Ansberg? Well, some la di da rich folks bought up a little cabin up north of there. Very remote. You get me? You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. With it what you will. a man there with a body no bigger than a coconut. Speaks seven languages. <laughs> okay. Oh, how'd it go in town? Good to see you. With Abigail, anything is possible. Best actress I ever saw. Really? Oh, sure. She had half the town believing we were real estate investors from New England. Everybody is following her. This after she placed a little explosive device. When we go back... There'll be an almighty bang. So you think this big job's gonna work? Get everything packed. We're leaving. I hope so. I really do. This place is not for me. How you doing, Mr. Zedler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or Driscoll boys are coming! 